I got a drummaker here playing Pillars of Eternity, and I am uh, on my way to the Pines Bay, being forced to by the game. And this is a barricade that was built a few days ago, probably like 10 days ago in terms of gameplay, and it is the only way to progress in the game. So I'm going to be going from here into the wood and plains. Now, worth noting the amount of travel being done here through the paths here. The wooden plains is very, very far away. This place is very, very packed together. It would almost appear as if they could actually have put one, two more places in here. Because even right here, you can see there's a kind of an opening here. Um, so, you know, room for stuff. So I'll be spending 18 hours going to the wood end plane, which means that um, the latest thing I build, which is, a, I think, a treasury sort of thing, will be uh, gone. Completo. Finished. Not dead. Not complete. Built. It'll be constructed properly and be full of gold. Hopefully full of gold. I mean, why would you build a treasury empty? That's ridiculous. Uh, it'll also allow me to uh, properly pay off my guards. So the bailey. Yes, that is completed. And I don't have actually that much left to build um, compared to when I started this. Um, it doesn't actually take that many days to finish off your fortress. Uh, so, um, let's see. Let's see, what do we want here? Seems to be a lot. Um, okay, those bleachers are apparently the forum. Let's build that. It'll take two days, 1200. Uh, it gives me four prestige. Um, are all my boys paid off now? Uh, looks like they are paid. Uh, no, never mind. They're currently unpaid still. So, shoot. Boogernauts. Anyway, uh, this is the road to Defiance Bay. Uh, we'll be going there through something and oh look it's contributors again god they're everywhere you know it's actually a way to really pull you out of the game so yeah i don't really like them they're everywhere some people don't like being reminded they're playing a game and this is one of these types of games where it's uh it's going to be a lot of the rp and uh people I doubt they'll actually like hearing that, you know, constant reminders of the people who backed the game. Uh, the game was backed uh, $3 million, I think. Uh, 72,000 backers. Average contribution price was $60. Uh, the price of the game is $50. So when you put things in perspective, it, it doesn't look all that great. Oh, is he stuck? He is stuck here for some reason. Okay, he's rooted. I don't think I actually really need these, but every little bit extra. And I guess this is just going to be a very generic woods. Uh, so the wrong guy got stopped there. Oh, wait a minute. Does that actually lead somewhere? Yes, yeah, Stormwall Gorge. Fascinating. And also, I'm not going there, so, but. Uh, the fact that it more or less unlocks that as an option later on is helpful. And if I go north here, does that bring me anywhere? No, okay, just back to Cade Nua. I didn't think it would bring me anywhere, but I had to try. Uh, so this is a fairly large zone, it seems. Oh boy, look at this. One, two, three, four, five trolls and a Pugua. Okay, so this is what we were waiting for. Let's use uh, some actual spells, shall we? Because it actually has been a while since we've been effectively challenged. And, uh, I'm sure that looks like an appropriate spell of any. Let me get him off tanking a different one. Oh, geez, the Pugua is actually, uh, oh, they're all sort of kind of rushing off me. Okay, so that Pugua is actually one that I should take care of pretty soon. All the while I'll cast this on Zim. And... Okay, so let's get out a Necrotic Lance. What's this eye thing, I wonder? Kind of creepy. Of course, the Chanter, despite having 
you know, kill that dude uh, is not going to be the best of tankers. So I'm going to get the Wisps out to fulfill that role. Looks like some sort of Blight that he's casting on. Small Earth Blight is what she casts. Okay, so she's a very primary target. I'm going to send him after the Fugua, producer of Blights. Oh boy, right in the middle there. So I can't... Okay, that just neutralized that. That's awesome, actually. So let's go attack this one. Yeah, I took a lot more damage there than uh, I would have would have wanted to. It's all part of the journey, of course. Uh, I'm not taking terrible amounts of damage, which is always good. I'm still taking some. Individually, these four trolls die very quickly in a pack. They turn into a real threat, and I've taken 50% of my damage on one guy, and I have one, two, three, four people fatigued. So, see how long I can stretch this out before I have to use my one camp supplies to continue on. I'm trying not to buy camping supplies because I feel like I can just pick them up at the Vines Bay at their inn and uh, be more or less happy there. What do we have here? A lion? A mother effing lion? What? Why would there be a lion here? This kind of reminds me of that time that I tangled with that bear. Except uh, with the six of us now, he's not so powerful. In terms of the game, if you don't recruit people, by this point you'd have... Uh, if you had a mirror matchup with me, you'd have... One, two, three... Four, you'd have uh, a chanter as well and have it sitting in reserve. I still have use for the chanter because I have, you know, I myself am a chanter. <clears throat> so it's a very overlapping support class. If it was anything else, like like two, um, two archers or two ranger, two rangers or two, um, two of almost anything else, you know, I could I could use those. But but two chanters? No, I don't have I don't have a use for two support classes. <coughs> they don't uh, do enough damage, and they don't take enough damage. They're kind of kind of big mooches, to be honest. So these lions have kind of a pack mentality here. They're actually working together. <coughs> the lionesses. Changing and shifting their patterns to better engage me. Let's get a big old heal one here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I've been suffering from a little bit of cold these last few days. Oh, it's manifesting into a pretty nasty, nasty cough that breaks my voice. Uh, so we have a dead body. With a hearth hat harvest. Okay. Not particularly useful. I gone so deep into odd Nua right now that uh, there isn't much that will be new useful for a while. Uh, where does this lead me to? This will lead me to right to the Agwithian Bridge. Okay. But I still want to more or less explore this area. Uh, so I'll just complete all of it first before I head to, off to the Agwithian Bridge. Probably just more lions, to be honest with ourselves. Oh, we have a person here. Oh, Jesus, stupid, stupid person. Hmm, that there's something here. Aha, uh -huh. I stole that person's camping supplies. Now, normally, if this was a real character, you they just attack you because you're actually robbing them. Uh, this one is a, 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 a player-created character. It's part of a backer for the game. And uh, they don't do anything. They're useless people. Well, let's see if there's anything else here. This is all kind of shut in, so I can't get into that. Could have been a schoolhouse. Probably has a story of its own. Hush, Itumar. We'll just wait a little longer. You talked. A dwarven woman dressed in skins and hides leans against the road marker. Her face is turned down, her eyes darkened by a thick stripe of face paint. 
She sharpened bow and arrowhead with a scrimmaw handled knife. Her attention, however, was focused on a bare figurine between her feet. A large white furred fox sitting at her heel looks up at you approach. Easy, Ituma. It's not him. Who are you waiting for? Short version? I'm looking for a very, very old friend. I'm not sure what skin he's wearing now, but I'll know him when I see him. Your friend is supposed to meet you here? That's what I heard. Of course, the man who told me so was carrying a staff he claimed was made from dragon bone, but I know Whitewood when I see it. That should have been my first clue, but I had to try something. Back up. What does a stranger have to do with your friend? The long version. Here we go. I'm from an island to the far south called Nasita. I came here looking for a village elder, a man we knew as Persaw. I'm a hunter back home, so tracking someone wouldn't normally be a problem. But Persock's trail is cold, to say the least. Um, how long have you been looking for Persock? Five years. Why can't you find him? There can't be many people in the Gyrewood. He died when I was still a young girl. Forgot to mention that part, did I? I'm looking for his latest reincarnation, which could be anyone. So you've been searching five years for a stranger you barely remember? Who could be anyone? sums it up then it must be an important duty um i actually know how you feel that's more appropriate then you have my sympathies hopefully you've got a better lead than i did how does a statuette figure into it cute isn't it it belonged to persock before he returned to the wheel he left a splinter of his soul in it something to help us find him later when i left nasitak it was completely dark inside but as I've gotten closer to Persock, it's glowed steadily brighter. Since I've reached the Deerwood, however, it's gotten hard to read. Some days it flickers and goes dark. Others it shines nice and bright for a few hours. But most of the time it looks just like this. Persock could be farther away still. Or I can take a look at it. That's more appropriate. I'm a watcher. I've heard that one before. The whole reason I'm standing here is because some so-called watcher from Forkvale told me he could take a look. For a few golden dukes, of course. I was on my way out of the Balmarsh when I heard talk of a traveling mystic who could supposedly see souls. I knew it was a long shot, but what did I have to lose? I went to see this fellow and gave him the Audra figurine. He made a big show of moaning and rolling his eyes, and after I'd given him five golden dukes to lift the shroud, he told me to seek the crossroads in the field between the wolf's lair and the twining trees. Is the twining trees a real place? He meant Twin Elms. I haven't been there yet, but I hear they have especially memorable trees. What's the wolf's lair? Defiance Bay. Locals call the current duck Wolf Grin. Sounds like he'd be fun to drink with. He thought he was being vague, but I know the area well enough to recognize the I had a bad taste in my mouth, but my coin was spent and I'd already left an arrow in his knapsack as a friendly warning. I told him I'd come back and leave him with another if it turned out he was giving me the runaround. I've been here a week now. Guess who had the last laugh after him. You could still go after the false watcher. I was mostly trying to scare him away. I wouldn't really kill a man over a few gold pieces. I don't have much of use for coin anyway. Besides, knowing his type, he's cleared out of the town by now and spent whatever he made. May I see the figurine? Why? I'm a real watcher. Story I just told you? You've got nothing to lose by letting me try. Fine. <coughs> but if you try to run, just remember that my arrows are faster. You raise the edge of bear, turning it in the light. As the, your eyes catch a tiny glinting scratch of the scenery around you melts. Um, perception 15. Sniff the breeze. Wherever you're staying, wherever Persock is staying, must be near the ocean, not a lake. I see a vision of cliffs high over the water. Does that sound familiar? Playing at perception 18. I've got it. He's standing on a cliff. What are you talking about? What just happened? I told you I'm a watcher. I know this sounds strange, but it's the truth. You realize I've got no coin to give you, even if I did believe you. 
Um, come with me. I've got other business in the area, and we can look for Fursok on the way. So this is a ranger, and I've had a ranger for quite a while, and they're equal to the rangers. So that's actually awkward. But I need her for the storyline, uh, so I can't do it out. And now I have uh, lost my goat in favor of a freaking wolf. Uh, means I'm going to be down a uh, off tank, but I'll be up extra damage. So lots of balance in life. It's one of these many characters in the game who uh, there's an achievement I think for or having all characters in the game. Oh, there is a very pretty troll, perhaps? Forest lurker, not a troll at all. What spells does she have? A uh, marked prey, one per encounter. Okay, we'll do that one right away. I'm here. This actually might work out to be better with marked encounter than I did with any of those other spells that I was using. Jeez, come on. There we go. I have tons of spells. Poor Chanter. Okay, one more knockdown left. Now this hunter actually has a very, very fast cast speed. Lower damage than my other hunter. So abilities don't have as big of an effect as they had previously. Okay, hey, down and out. Nine, two, five. Okay. What do we have here? A path to where? Still the same storm hall place. Okay. And a body. Creepy bodies everywhere. Hide armor, Adra. Golden globes. Sure, all that good stuff. Just kind of walking around stealing from everyone. That's what I do. Sooner rather than later, this person's going to be getting new armor. This new person that I picked up. That's because uh, the current aesthetic of a actual ranger does not meet my my party makeup. Kind of stuck over here. Yeah, I'll probably level this ranger slightly different from my other ranger, just because, um, you know, I'm going to want to uh, have some kind of difference that I, when I, if I swap between the two, I'll have something different out of it. Poor little wolf. That's who he's targeting, is it not? I'm pretty sure it is. It's not targeting El Troublemaker. Okay. Just sad that I'm missing out on literally Hitler level experience right now. Okay. Looks like I'm getting close to have fully explored this area. And then I found a forest lurker. Just the one though. Do a little bit of focus magic. Yeah, this one has a very, very fast rate of attack compared to the most. Shocking powers. Okay, one last attempt at a knockdown. Here we go. And it failed. Oh well, he, he's dead now anyway. Is hmm? uh, we beat the forest lurker, not the troll. Um. Hmm. Okay. Some kind of cart up here. See if there's anything down south along this way. Oh, what what leads to south from here? Um, apparently nothing at all. It all leads to Stormfall uh, Gorge. 
And this must be the path that leads up. Yes, it is. What do we have here? <clears throat> a box with a sword. Crappy sword, a stock. I think that's one that's especially pointy, but not particularly strong. It's a lancing sword, I'm pretty sure. I'm completely talking out of my asshole here. Okay, just a random area with nothing really of value except for a single chest to loot. Aha! Four strolls. Plural, apparently. Okay. And a lot of these pigwood guzz. Oh boy. So my focus will be split a lot, actually. I'm actually going to get rid of the troll first. But I am going to use some pretty nasty spells. There's a lot of them here, after all. Oh boy, that one's actually dying pretty fast, in fact. Bounty spells. And for her, this is kind of a disorder spell. That wolf can actually like stomp a nice bit of damage compared to uh, my old one. I don't need that heal just yet. No, that was much better, okay. So if I focus down these pigwoods, the uh, dudes, hopefully the cast dudes just go away on their own. One more magic attack. Oh wow, uh, one of my guys is taking a ton of damage. Let's get the uh, blasty spell. I don't think I casted that properly, this spell here. God, she could be dying sooner rather than later. Let's go with the last stand attack, or heal, not an attack. Okay, so the small rain blight is gone. That guy will be gone relatively soon. I haven't been using a lot of stuns, so let's see if we can get a stun off. Okay, electrostatic shock attack is a go. Oh, there's a quick wall over here as well. Oops. Hold an extra one. Cast it a Earth Blight. I don't think this should take too much to kill. Now another Earth Blight, is that what's getting cast here? Actually, it's just a regular melee attack. Okay, so that was the big battle for this area, for me at least. And all I get from it is some wood. Because this is how you cut your wood in the olden days. You have to kill beasts or something that are made of wood. I guess. Okay, so just got 100% this map, of course. Get rid of all the fog of war. Of which there's only that one little strip left. And then I can be on my merry way to the bridge. The bridge to the Fines Bay. Okay, 100% fit this area. Huzzah! Uh, so then we're off on our road to the Fines Bay. And, uh, 
Actually, getting rid of literally Hitler was slightly good because he had a lot of durability damage and Sagani does not. So I guess that's good. And so here we go, up to the Igwithium Bridge, and I'll be doing this next time. I'll see you guys then.